Jane found money in her pocket. Does that ever happen to y'all? Yes. Mm -hmm. She went to a convenience store. What's the nearest convenience store y'all know about? Dollar General or Country Boys? I just didn't know if you'd ever heard convenience store used before. Y'all just hear specific names. Anyway, she spent one third of her money on something I wish I had right now. Chocolate, Chocolate milk. milk. Y'all too. Two fifths of her money on a magazine. magazine, and the rest of her money on candy. What fraction of her money did? Did she spend on Katie? This is one of those examples, sort of like yesterday, where we're not working with a dollar amount. We're working on parts of her money. We don't know what amount that is, but whatever amount it is, it's the whole thing. So what number do we use to represent the whole thing of something? One. 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 So there's a hidden one in this problem you just kind of have to be aware of. Okay, Nathan. Um, so what two operations would y'all do to solve this problem? Oh, Let's go with you. Subtract. Add and then subtract. We're going to add the amounts we know about. We're going to subtract from the whole amount to find the missing amount. Um, to some degree, the subtraction y'all might do mentally, but I just want y'all to know that it's still one of the steps, whether you're doing it on paper or mentally, it's still kind of there. We're adding one third plus two fifths. When we're adding or subtracting with fractions, everybody, what's your first step? Have the same denominator. It's exactly right. The way they are right now, they're unlike fractions, so we have to make them as like fractions. What number would y'all prefer 15. to use? Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, I'm going to do this whole fraction mm -hmm. times five over five, because five over five really just means five times I drew one. It. Yeah, I even drew it around it. And I'm going to multiply this whole fraction times three over three, because three over three really just means one. One. Okay, we're rewriting one-third as five-fifteenths. We are rewriting two-fifths as six-fifteenths. <clears throat> so far, she has... What does eleven-fifteenths stand for, though? How much she spent. The money she has spent. Remember, we don't know the dollar amount, but we know whatever amount she has, she started with the whole amount. So we're letting one stand for what she started with. She has spent eleven-fifteenths. Mentally, y'all can think from 11 up to 15, what would it take to make one whole? Or if you wanted to rewrite your one as 15 fifteenths, you could do that too. It does not really matter to me. So 15 fifteenths, take away 11 fifteenths. Is four. Four on, what was it she spent her money on? Candy. Candy. On candy. Spent. Four fifteenths. We could get that word spent in there somewhere. I'd also like to remind you, as usual, these are the steps that you would do for your homework, although there will be different numbers. You do start with getting a common denominator. You add your numerator, so you keep your denominator the same. And you are trying to take that away from whatever her whole amount is to find your missing amount. Okay, thanks.